Decapitated talking heads, dirty cops, and an island with no way out. This is Basket Full of Heads, published by DC Black Label. This is written by Joe Hill and illustrated by Leo Max. So Joe Hill is actually the son of horror writer Stephen King. Good for fans of Barbarian, Ready or Not, and also Eat the Rich, which is a comic book from Boom Studios by Sarah Gailey, who I'm a big fan of their work. So this story follows June, who's on Brody Island for the summer with her boyfriend, who is like a temporary cop for the summer, giving out parking tickets and all that stuff. And her boyfriend's like the perfect American boy. He's getting close with the sheriff and his family, and he's trying to dream of becoming a cop in the future. He was done for the summer, except things are not that simple. Four escaped convicts are on the loose in Brody Island, and the storm actually floods the bridge. Now everybody is trapped on this island and there's no power. So this story actually starts off with a home invasion, so June and her boyfriend are like staying at the sheriff's house. And for some reason the sheriff has a bunch of museum grade like artifacts at his house, which I don't think he's allowed to have whatsoever. In a moment of self-defense, June actually grabs one of these artifacts, which is an axe that is like from the Viking Age. And we soon find out that if somebody's head is chopped off with this axe, they don't die. They remain alive with just a decapitated head that's completely conscious and talking. That is kind of hell. Imagine just being a talking head. You don't have a body, you're stuck that way. So June is kicking butt and defending herself through the series and trying to save her boyfriend. I hope I did a good job explaining that. I, I don't want to say any more because I don't want to give too much away, but just trust me, it was a fantastic read. If you are a horror fan and you want to see a final girl kicking butt, this one is definitely for you. This one is good for fans of the movie Barbarian because there are similar themes with the men in that movie and the men in this comic and also Ready or Not. My friend actually sent this to me in the mail. She thought that I'd really like it. We did a little bit of a comic swap and it was a lot of fun. So you know who you are watching this. I appreciate you and thank you so much for the comic. This was just a really great read. No, this was awesome. Comment down below what your favorite DC Black Label title is and yeah, thanks for watching.